Welcome, welcome. It's 2022, and you just got the new MacBook Pro with the M1 Pro chip. And you finally just got the new Xbox Series X2. What? Shipping nightmares over. But um, really, I'm here to let you know how I stream with the MacBook and the Xbox using the Elgato HD 60S Plus. Um, a little precaution, this is my first tech video. Super excited. I'm using this to make the whole video. And this is my first tech video, so I'm still learning. And if you got any tips for me, send them my way. But all right, let's get started. All right, so here's the hardware overview. We've got the Xbox Series X on the top left. We've got the Elgato HD 60S Plus on the right, top right. We've got the MacBook Pro on the bottom right. We've got some dongles on the left. I've got another image where I'm showing you my audio interface. I use a Focusrite Scarlett 2i2. Um, it's pretty old, so that's why it's dusty. And then I use a mic that I got from Amazon for, it was a budget mic, so I'll put the link in the description. Okay, now let's hook some things up. First thing is Elgato. On the left side, we have a USB-C port, an HDMI port, and an audio jack. On the right side, we have an HDMI port. First, plug the HDMI from your Xbox to the Elgato left side. It'll be labeled as in. Then plug the USB cable that the Elgato came with into the USB-C port and back to your MacBook Pro. I'm using a dongle since the MacBook Pro only has USB-C ports. For the right side of the Elgato, plug in the HDMI into the right side, labeled as out, and from there, feed it to your monitor. All right, so next, let's go ahead and download OBS Studio. Here's the link, and I downloaded the Mac OS version, but if you've got a PC, go ahead and download the Windows version. All right, so once you download OBS Studio, this is what it will look like. On the left side, we have the scenes. I'm gonna create a YouTube test scene. You'll see some of my already loaded up scenes that I created. So you've got your YouTube test scene that you just made. And now let's add some of the components. First one being the webcam. So I've got my Aver Media webcam. I just named this as YouTube webcam. Click the device. And it should give you a preview. Boom, I'm right there. And then next, we'll add the Elgato source, which is also a video capture device. Come on, come on. And we'll give that a test name as well. So this might not have a preview yet because my Xbox wasn't on at this point, but go ahead and click it and select it. So now we're gonna add the, the mic. Forgot to add the mic last video, but we'll add that as a source. And I'll just put in YouTube mic as a name for now and go ahead and select my interface, which is a Scarlet and press OK. And you should see it load up on the right side where you have these audio tools. OK, so now let's start, you know, putting this canvas together. We've got the window with the webcam. We just started the Xbox. Uh, we'll get some of these layerings, right? So we'll make the Xbox window fit the canvas. And everything should snap by default. We'll just drag the webcam up above the Xbox video. And we'll put it on the bottom left. That looks good for now.
so there's a lot more to the settings, but um, I did want to talk about a little bit about the sources and what options those have. So right here we've got the webcam, we've got the different resolutions it can output. Then we've got the Elgato and those resolutions that it can output. Oops, we did forget one very important source. So it's the Xbox audio source. So the gameplay, maybe your game chat, you will want to add that in and give it a new name. And But the source will be the capture card as well. So let's add that in. And you'll see if it's working by clicking through the menu and then you'll see the volume bar go up. Okay, so we might be almost ready to stream. Let's go through the sources and clicking through each of these. On the right side, we're making sure we've got our audios, testing the buttons on the Xbox to see if we got Xbox audio. And let's go ahead and start up Halo. So it's loaded up, multiplayer. Keep an eye on the FPS on the bottom right and the CPU. You can go ahead and change it to 60. See what that does. Um, I didn't really connect the Twitch account, but I did have it on a previous profile. So if I click start streaming, it might work. And I'll explain what might appear through that. All right, so I click started streaming. We've got a green symbol there. Green might be mean, meaning good, but the FPS does give you other information, how long you've been live, if you've recorded anything for how long, number of drop frame rates. I'll stop streaming for now though, since this was just a test. So I did want to talk a little bit about the stream tab. Um, so I, I do it on Twitch, I stream on Twitch, and OBS does come with some presets that you can go through. I just clicked show all. I had no idea there's this many streaming services. That's crazy. Um, but I'll you know leave mine on Twitch. And I would just go through the dialog box and click through on how to connect your Twitch account. Um, so mine just got resetted, I think. Uh, I'll just click cancel and hopefully it's back to normal. Let's see. Yep. But I recommend going through dialog box and just connecting it through so there. one more topic to touch on is the xbox settings let's go ahead and turn on um, the headphones so i'm using some turtle beach stealth 700s they're a couple years old but they'll do let's get those connected to the xbox in order to hear some of your game chat you can navigate through the sound options and look for the settings for your chat mixer or I guess for that. And what's worked for me is headphones and speaker so I could hear my party chat. I also want to show you some of the resolution settings on the Xbox for the H for the Elgato. Um, so I've got 1080 and I can go up to 50 Hertz, I guess. And also some of my network settings, I would recommend being wired in wired in is the best. So hopefully with that brief overview, um, you can get started. To stream if you have a MacBook and an Elgato and either a Xbox or a PlayStation should be very similar um, and then those additional tips I gave on the audio settings and video settings as well hopefully that helps um, like I said this is my first tech video so if it helped you out um, I'm glad and give me a follow if you'd like or um, let's game on Twitch and give me a follow there I'll put my Twitch information below and thanks for viewing and like this is the first video so hopefully there's more with the power of this new macbook pro all right thank you